Can I speak to you about something? Let me share with you some spiritual stuff. Now, before you say, or if you listen to me, and before you say I am crazy, I have a mental problem, or I was imagining things, let me say it like this. I believe while we are on earth, there are many spiritual things we don't see. I believe in the Bible, it speaks about we are in a spiritual war. So in saying that, you may not be able to see everything that is really going on on this earth. Now, I believe some people on this earth have particular gifts to where they may not see everything, but they may see certain things, certain spiritual things they may not share with everyone. With myself, I believe I have a gift. I believe I have a gift to see spiritual things. Now, it may not be on a very high level, but every so often, I may see something. Maybe it is not a spiritual gift. Maybe God allows me to see certain spiritual stuff. Okay, so let me say that before I start. And there is a point to this. One day, or on this particular day, I believe I was watching something on YouTube. And sometimes I see certain evil things. Sometimes it is not very clear. Sometimes, rarely, it is very clear. But sometimes it is kind of hazy. Or I may see certain things. Sometimes I see faces, maybe not so clear, but sometimes clear. Anyways, on a particular day, I think while I was watching a YouTube video, or I believe it was while I was watching it, and it is kind of rare to where I can see something very clearly or let's say on a level one through 10, many things I see like one as being the lowest, 10 as being the highest. So one as being not so clear and 10 being very clear. I think many of the time I see things on a level, I guess, two, one, two. Then rarely I see things, I would say, maybe at a level six or seven, I guess. So I saw. a man-like figure, like, 
I saw like a man-like figure come in my room. Like walking. Like walking on the left side of my room. Back and forth as if I was not there. Now, I guess it would appear then disappear or to the point to where I couldn't see it, but I could see it walking back and forth. I guess I can say appearing and disappearing and I never experienced something like that ever. And it really, really like, man. And you may say, how did it look like? Have you ever seen the movie Predator? To where that monster-like being could make itself invisible, but you could see like the outline and the invisible cloaking whatever that he was in so that the audience could see where that monster was at. So I could see the outline. I could see like a man-like outline, but I could not see the entirety of it, if that makes any sense. Like if you ever seen the old movie Predator, like when that predator, I believe at times when predator would turn invisible, I believe the movie would show, like show that it was in like a cloaking system to where the main character could not see it, I guess. Well, it is an old movie, so I'm not sure if I am telling it to you right. But if you saw that movie, it was something like that. And usually if I sense or see evil things, you know, I believe much of the time I command it to go. And I continued to command it to go and it would not leave. And I believe that really, really, really shocked me. You know, unless I was in sin or something like that, I believe most of the time when I commanded something I believed to be a demon, I think much of the time after a while, I believe that demon or evil presence or whatever would leave. But this time, you know, I believe I believe I was saying in the name of Jesus, I command you to go to leave. I forget exactly what I was saying, but something like that. And that demon or whatever it was would not leave. So. I believe what that thing was trying to do is to, I guess, get me to, I guess, lose hope or lose my faith or confidence in God or something because that thing would not go. And I'm sitting in my room watching that thing like in the corner of my room, I believe it was, walking. Very, very, very strange. Something came, I believe something came to my mind. I believe it was something like sing songs to God. Now, that may sound very weird to you. 
you may say, Kevin, why in the world would something come to your mind telling you to sing songs to God after you commanded that demon to leave and it did not go? So if it did not go when you commanded it to leave, why would it leave after or why would it leave if you sing songs to God? I forgot, I forget what, I forget. I forgot what song I sang, but I believe I sang more than one song. And I was kind of freaked as well as you may be able to imagine. But I was singing, singing, singing. I believe I was singing for maybe 15, 20 minutes. Maybe, I think it was around 15 to 40 minutes. I believe, I forget how everything was exactly how everything was, but I believe after a half hour, I could not see it anymore. And I don't think that presence that, I think I felt an evil presence when it was in my room. And I don't think I could sense that evil presence anymore either. You may wonder, why am I telling you this? I think there are many people out there that may go through some really scary, supernatural stuff. They may not know what to do. If you have confessed your sins to God, if you have commanded that demon or demons to leave, Okay, begin singing to God. Yes, that may seem strange. That may sound weird, but begin singing songs to God and, and continue singing until those demons leave. Now, if you look at it in an earthly way, I guess that doesn't make any sense. But how about you try it? Other than telling me, Kevin, that is not true. Kevin, you crazy. How about test what I am saying? I believe singing songs to God is a way to get demons to leave. I believe times in my past, and I think I still do it sometimes. Sometimes, I believe times in my past, I would get very, I believe demonic things would happen when I would either sleep or while I am trying to sleep. If I am remembering that correctly, and I believe the thing I would do is sing myself to sleep sing songs to God until I fall asleep or until like I felt secure or comfortable or until that evil presence would leave. Or I think most of the time I would sing myself to sleep. Now you may say, Kevin, I guess you like singing. It is not that. Not so much that. I believe there is power in singing songs to God. I guess, I don't really know, but I guess something supernatural, perhaps something spiritual happens, huh? When you sing songs to God. So I guess, Demons can't stand it. I don't know. But try it. 
continue to sing. Yes, you may be scared. You may be freaked out, but continue singing songs to God. Half hour, hour, whatever. Continue singing. Like, what else are you going to do? Like, do you want to stay in fear and be tormented? No, I hope not. Sing songs to God. Try it. Let me stop here. God bless you.